Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Tahir and in today's video, I will be talking about e-learning courses. What are e-learning courses and what is the process of developing e-learning courses? I have many videos on my channel, but this is an introductory video for beginners who might be wondering what are online courses and what are e-learning courses? What is the difference? How to create these types of courses? What tools to use? What is the process? all these things. This is not a long video and I'm hoping that you will learn a few things if you watch this video full. There are many types of online courses and most of the times when we talk about online courses, platforms like Udemy and Skillshare, we think about these platforms. The courses which are available on Udemy, Skillshare and similar platforms, they are mostly a set of videos with a couple of workbooks or some activities, but they are not made on any standard. When we talk about e-learning courses, on the other hand, e-learning courses are those courses that are developed based on one of the few standards available. The most popular is SCORE, Shareable Content Object Reference Model. But in a nutshell, this is a standard for e-learning courses. So in this video, we are going to talk about e-learning courses only. Now the next question is how to develop these courses and what types of content you put in these courses. E-learning courses also have videos, they have quizzes, they have assignments, they have various interactions, some activities, role plays, maybe some audios, some infographics and all this stuff. But the difference here is that you create these courses by using some tools and those tools are called authoring tools. So what it means is that you have your content, you have your videos, you have your PDFs, you have your teaching material, whatever is the curriculum or whatever are the learning objectives. You have all that material, but then you use an authoring tool to put that material into a course. Now, what is an authoring tool? An authoring tool is a software that allows you to develop a SCORM compliant e-learning course. In simple words, that helps you to maintain the standard of the e-learning course without knowing anything. You just normally develop your e-learning resources and because you are using authoring tool, so your course will be according to the standard. So this is the purpose of the authoring tool. So basically an authoring tool gives you a zip file and I'm going to show you in a minute. So this is how you develop e-learning course. Now the second part is how to deliver e-learning course. So to deliver any e-learning resources or courses, you need another computer system or a software which is called learning management system. So these are the two important components of e-learning courses. Some of the most popular authoring tools are iSpring Suite, Articulate Storyline 360 and Adobe Captivate. So these are the most popular authoring tools. I use iSpring. I will show you in a minute. Now to deliver e-learning courses, you need a learning management system where you can do two main jobs. Number one, organize your courses and number two, deliver your courses. So your role could be simply as a teacher if you are in an organization and there will be some admin or administrator of the learning management system. You will simply give them your zip file. All authoring tools basically give you a zip file. Very simple. And then some administrator will put your course on the learning management system. And the administrator will also create accounts for students. And for you as a teacher, you and students both will log in. You will see the analytics and statistics of your course and students will learn and use uh, the e-learning course, interact with your learning material and so on. So this is how it works. Now, how to select authoring tool? You might ask, well, in my opinion, all authoring tools are roughly have the same features. The only difference in my opinion is the learning curve. For example, if you are familiar with PowerPoint, iSpring Suite could be a very good learning management system and authoring tool for you. They have both authoring tool and the learning management system. Adobe Captivate is a tool from Adobe. They also have very good standard, but there is a learning curve. You have to learn a lot of things. iSpring solution is just an add-on to PowerPoint with all the functionalities of authoring tool and learning management system. I have another video about learning management systems that you can watch on my channel. Just type learning management system and the video will appear. There are many learning management systems and you will notice that new learning management systems 
are coming to the market. But some of the most popular are Moodle, which has a, I think, very huge learning curve, although you can get this for free. Then iSpring, you have to pay roughly $1,000 per year for this. Also, Talent LMS is a learning management system. You can see their pricing, but roughly $1,000 Australian dollars per year. And then you have Blackboard. It could be a little bit more expensive. Normally, when you develop e-learning courses, you are developing these courses for some organizations, some academic institutes, colleges, universities, high schools, your zip file will be usable in any learning management system, whatever that organization has or which authoring tool you have used while developing this course. Because both authoring tools and learning management systems, they have the ability to communicate because they are all based on a standard. So you can basically sell your courses in this way. While on the other hand, if you have a video course, you have to upload all those videos on any platform one by one and then all other resources one by one. So this process becomes very easy if you create e-learning courses. Now at the end, I will just show you the final step of how you get that particular zip file once you have put all your teaching material into the course. So this is my screen and I'm using iSpring Suite as you can see here. And this is just an add-on to PowerPoint. Therefore, if you are familiar with PowerPoint, this could be your authoring tool of choice. I might put my affiliate link in the description of this video if you are interested in iSpring. And I have many videos about iSpring Suite on my channel. You can watch those videos and you can understand all the features of iSpring. But now let's assume that I have completed my course. This could only be one module of my course and assume that these PowerPoint slides have videos, audios, role plays and all these types of resources. And I have videos on all of these separately on my channel. You can watch. But let's assume that this is my final product. So the last and critical step is that you can first preview and when you are happy, you click on this publish button. I just wanted to show you this thing. So that you understand that this process is not very complex. So you click publish and then this screen is very important. There are few ways to publish your course. One is that you use iSpring's own learning management system or you can publish to your computer or you can publish to LMS. I select this and then if you click on this little arrow, these are some of the standards. Older SCORM, new SCORM standard, XAPI and CMI. So let's say I publish to SCORM 2004 and then I click publish. And it will start creating files. And depending on the size of the resource, it might take a few minutes. And now if I click on view course, and now this is the preview of my course. And if I go back and click on open, this is the zip file. I can give this zip file to the administrator of any learning management system. They will upload and my course will be ready for delivery. So it is a very simple process for creating e-learning courses. You only need any authoring tool. And then you put all your resources together using that tool, get a zip file and your course is ready. So I hope that this video will give you an overview of how to develop e-learning courses. Thanks for watching and see you next time.